Hello everyone, welcome back to Bits and Bobs Divination. My name is Caitlin and today we are going to be diving in to see what's coming in for the month of July for you in energy, insights, and guidance, and most importantly the blessings that are going to be coming into your life for the month. So let's go ahead and dive right on in. All right, so welcome back, my beautiful kindred spirits, to this beautiful channel and everyone else who is new joining in as well. Today, we're going to be looking into your monthly predictions. We're going to be looking into what's coming in for July, um, and I'm really excited about it. So we're going to be looking at the piles here in just a moment, but if you are new and you're curious what else is here to offer you on this channel, I have lots of other readings that come out every single Monday, either on your monthly blessings like this one, two-week forecasts. And then I also do readings on like your spiritual and magical gifts and abilities, other timeless readings on what makes you most attractive, why you're proud of yourself, um, how to get out of your box, so many other ones. And then also sometimes I sprinkle in some educational, spiritual, and magical videos too. So feel free to have a peruse, join this beautiful community as we are over 500 subscribers now. And I don't normally call you guys subscribers, I just call you guys my beautiful kindred spirits because you really are. Um, this beautiful community that we've grown. I really do know you guys by your names. I really do look at all of your comments um, and see you as individuals and I really truly do appreciate your support here and I hope that I'm able to support you just as much with these readings if not more. So, so much thanks and we're gonna go ahead and get started before I waffle on about how much I love you all. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and look at these piles. So for today's piles, we actually have these beautiful painted rocks that my mom made for me that were like a set of little cactus pieces um, that she put in a pot. So shout out to my mom and her beautiful little painted rocks. Uh, but here for pile number one, we have this rock in a deeper green. It also has a whole bunch of like, I think of them as like little sprinkles um, of white and gray. So that is pile number one. For pile number two here, we have a more ombre rock with like these stars almost, or these little um, gemstones or whatever you see them as. Um, but that is what I see from this rock, just an ombre of greens. And then pile number three here is much bigger. It's a much heftier rock, but it has a whole row and lines of vertical lines that are um, little dots that are in white. So that is pile number three. But let's go ahead and take a deep breath together so you can really gather your thoughts, gather your intuition, so we can really connect with that. So let's take that deep breath together here now. And as always, there's no right or wrong way to choose your piles. You can choose one pile, two piles, three piles, choose all the piles, swap around, choose a pile, change your mind, flip-flop as you feel you need to. There really is no right or wrong way. There's no rule book. Um, so just play around with them. So if you already know which pile is calling out to your intuition, then feel free to go down in the description below where you can find the timestamps or use the chapter marks um, provided within the video. You can also find um, lots of other things like how to join my Instagram community, but if you're interested in supporting this channel even further, then feel free to not only subscribe, but if you're interested in a private reading and you like snail mail, you like handwritten letters, typewritten letters on a vintage typewriter, if you're interested in getting magical paper and your own personalized sigil um, and a reading for love or career or anything in between even spiritual or magical questions then feel free to look down in the description as well where you can find out more about my snail mail readings because I absolutely love doing them I love to see what I can do for you and hold that space for you so if that's something that interests you, you can find out more information there or go to the highlights and my Instagram on my Instagram where you can see reviews and what they all look like and how they all work because so many others have really enjoyed them as well. So if you're interested, that'll be down below. But with all of that said, we're going to go ahead and get started with pile number one. 
Hello group one, if you've decided to choose this specific cactus with the sprinkle like lines, then this is the pile for you. Today we are going to be looking into your July blessings, the blessings that are coming in for July and also just a reflection on the blessings that have been in your life for a while and have been coming in recently. So we're going to be using the charms, the watercolor affirmations, we're also going to be using the spell casting oracle, the C melodies oracle, and then today's choice of deck is the muse tarot because this tarot deck i used last year for the july predictions that i did and i don't know this just gives me july vibes summery vibes so those of you who are in the southern hemisphere it may not be very like warm and green right now but hopefully this deck brings you some of that nice summer vibes if you're missing them um but here we go so what do we got coming in here for you so here we are with the Empress for pile number one. So you guys have the high, sorry, not the Empress, the High Priestess. But let's go ahead and see what else is coming in here. Group one, group one, what do you have coming in for July for blessings that are coming in, as well as any energy, insights, or guidance that you may need to listen to or seek out within the month? So we also have here the three of emotions, so possibly celebrations with other friends, and this is like the friendship card. Also lots of moon energy, crescent moon energy, so maybe um, something having to do with new beginnings as well. And then lastly here we have the magician, so wow, very magical with the high priestess and the magician showing up. Um, very manifestation, very like a lot of empowerment, a lot of celebration. Super excited about that for you, group one. Let's see what else is coming in for you. So we're going to go ahead and do um, your oracle deck here. So what do you have coming in immediately? We got one. Okay, so let's see what you got here. All right, so you have animals showing up. So they may be blessings in your life within the next couple of weeks for July. So we have animals showing up or working with animal spirits, especially since you have a lot of more mystical energy here. But let's see what else. So group one, group one, what do you have coming in in the form of blessings for the month ahead of July? Group one, group one, what do we have coming in here? Group one, group one. Feel free to send your energy in through, there it is. I swear, the moment I say that, it's like immediately the cards fall out. So you got two here. So we have dive, you don't find pearls on the seashore. So this is about diving deeper, getting deeper into something, really like allowing yourself to explore farther and deeper than you have been. And then we have the ocean, be beautiful, mysterious, wild, and free. So again, it's something you can really dive into that's very abundant, very big, very wide open to discover. So that's super exciting. Okay, let's go ahead and get your final message here with the watercolor affirmation. So what affirmation do you possibly need to get through the month of July? Although it seems very full of blessings for you guys. Um, but do stay tuned later on because we will be looking into your charms to see all the other little smaller details. But here we are, group one, group one. What do you have coming in for the month of July? Ooh, okay, so we have two here. So we have pain is a part of growing. And then we also have mindset is key. So I think that the pain really is within the past few months or more recently that you've been possibly experiencing. It doesn't even have to be pain. It can also be like discomfort or feeling um, a little uncomfy about a situation. And then we have mindset is key, which is just telling me like, like I said, there's a lot of empowerment, a lot of your truth being told, a lot of energy that you can really use to dive into this month. And I think a lot of that's going to be also on a subconscious like level with the ocean and like diving into your subconscious into those beliefs that have been holding you back and finding power from your pain um, is what I'm getting here so like you're actually finding the truth of it and then what you can't like like self-limiting beliefs that have been kind of just chilling in the waters of that ocean and I see you kind of diving into them and seeing where you can actually fish out the truth 
that's been kind of hidden for quite a while. Almost like an iceberg, you know, you only see the tip of the iceberg, but you're actually going to dive a lot farther into those subconscious beliefs, much farther below the ocean and the surface of the ocean to see where the truth has actually been hidden under all these layers of um, not truths. <laughs> what is the word? False truths. There we are. So anyway, let's go ahead and dive into your pile though. So beyond the biggest, most obvious things that showed up that I just talked about, we do have friendship showing up here with the three of emotions. This doesn't necessarily have to mean friendships, but they are like social gatherings, reconnecting with kindred spirits in your life that can be family, friends, with relationships, and with long distance relationships even, but you're reconnecting with them Maybe not always on a physical level where you actually get to see them in person, but you are able to really communicate on a deep level with them that you haven't had before, especially if you had like that surface level feeling with friends lately, um, especially as we become adults. Sometimes it's really hard to keep a relationship going or a friendship going because we can, you know, we don't have time to call or FaceTime or text or say something to someone and then two months have gone by and then you're like, ah, you know, so I just think that you're reconnecting, rekindling some of those friendship vibes. You guys are actually able to hang out, talk about deeper things than the surface level like work or how was your day or the weather, you know, that I think you guys are actually going to be able to have real true conversations about things that are possibly been, that have been going on, that have been maybe more difficult, or maybe you're going to be that shoulder for someone else um, within your friend group where they can really pour out their emotion and you can kind of reflect back on it and help with that. The other blessings that I see coming up this month isn't about action necessarily because we do have the magician which is about putting action to our our ideas but with the high priestess as well they do talk about really taking time to consider your next step to consider where you're going so it's not necessarily that you need rest but just that your ideas need more time to really um dive into to explore all of it like it's kind of like um when i was at university a lot of my professors would say like the first idea that you have isn't going to be your best one. It's going to be the fifth or sixth or seventh idea. So take time to really marinate on the ideas that you have towards a business, towards your goals, towards your magic, towards whatever it is that you're, you really want to head towards in the month. The point is the mindset of it is making sure that you don't just go with that very first idea, but really head towards the one that's going to be farther down the line. Um, that's going to be more thought out, a lot more... Um, like well balanced and you actually dived into it much deeper than the very surface level because that's where you're going to find those pearls. The other things that we had coming in here is animals. So like I said, animals could be really important in your life right now. Maybe you are the things that you're trying to manifest or empower yourself in or to just feel really like comfy in because that's that's what the magician is. It's right. Finding empowerment, finding, you know, yourself, find, reconnecting with your your true inner power um, and maybe that's going to come through spirit guides having to do with animals or in general animals just could be in your life really important maybe you're going to get a new dog or a cat or a bird or a fish um, I definitely could see fish with the amount of water that we have showing up here but I think that they could also be a new friendship that comes into your life or that you get to rekindle a friendship with a animal but with all of that said group one let's go ahead and head on to your charms and see what else is coming in right now we've got a lot of your blessings but I am curious what else is coming in in terms of um things to just keep in mind to keep um you know looking at for the month to just keep in like like the insights and guidance that may be coming in so let's see what else is coming in for future events for group one here group one group one what do you have coming in within the month of july and blessings as well as guidance and insight group one group one group one few here we have two dice which is really interesting um so i'm gonna pick up the ones that fell upside down here and then we can 
start to look into everything close up. Um, almost everything fell the right side up, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom you in so you can see. And there you are. So let's go ahead and start diving on in. So right here at the center of your entire month, we have a few things showing up here. So we have the lucky charm. So this is a little lucky uh, ladybug. So this is like your lady luck, especially with ladybugs. They talk about kindness as well as um, like those random bits of luck. Like they don't really make sense. You weren't expecting them. It's not like you're trying to manifest luck in or you're going to be really luck gambling or something like that. Um, it's more so random little moments um, that are going to show up that you weren't expecting and they're not going to be like these huge bouts of luck but just something small but you notice it and it feels much bigger than maybe everyone around you would think so. That being said though we do have the gambling chip um, so it could be for gambling if you guys are going to go out and do anything like that. Um, obviously do it at your own discretion but there you are. The other charms that you have coming in for the month we have ancestors with the sugar skulls. So this is about reconnecting with your ancestors, reconnecting with your soul family, reconnecting with that deeper part of yourself that is like your bloodline or your chosen family and really connecting with them um, and understanding culture as well because like I said you may have spirit guides coming in so that could be also having to do with your ancestors or within your family. Uh, the other things that you have coming in here too at the very center of your month is the number six so this has this could have to do with July 6th or this could be having to do with July 16th or another number having to do with six within the month. Um, the other thing too is uh, this can also be reflecting on June with the sixth month in the year in terms of timing so take how that resonates with these two charms but the other thing that we do have with six is it's kind of telling me um, harmony is coming in so six always talks about harmony it talks about you know the three to the three there's harmony there's balance there is a equilibrium that's happening there a temperance uh, so I do think if your life has been feeling really chaotic right now or within the last few weeks this is where you get to ground back down like I said with that high priestess card you get to really marinate on your ideas you don't have to be so rushed and that comes in even with the number four here as well so I'll talk about this little section so we have four showing up here and this is possibly the four of wands even because it is uh, that orange color but we do have the number four showing up and four is much like six where it has a lot of structure it also is very you know it's like a box it's very structural you can really put something on there it's a foundation so where I was talking about those ideas you're going to look deeper than the surface deeper than the foundation deeper than just like what you first see so that you can create a even better structure with that six the other things that are coming in here, we have the hummingbird, which is talking about speaking and, and laughter. I get a lot of laughter and fun from the hummingbird. The hummingbird also is like fast. It is fast energy. So when you do get to talk with friends or within this like playing games, because we do, this also can talk about playing games or being risky. Um, I think it's really important to make sure that your relationships, that you're coming back into with that three of emotions or three of cups this is about really balancing those relationships back out so if you feel like they've been really fast really like you've had really quick fast conversations with them they haven't been the best they haven't been filled with a lot they've been filled possibly even with jealousy or feeling just like jealous of where their life is right now and they're moving faster than you or there's comparison um, it's time to move past that relationship with them and one towards kindness and compassion um, from both sides because this is the friendship charm of compassion the friendship charm of true friendships ones that are built on real foundations of love and care and um, you know they're built because they you really truly care for this person and not from jealousy or not from risk or not from trying to just you know keep a relationship there and just being kind of like quick and fast with your re your replies so really make sure to find a balance there because it's kind of upside down um and because we do have the um the charm of the flamingo which is about finding balance and also waiting things out so that is falling towards the action moon and then really a lot 
is happening over here with that. So it's finding a balance between your relationships right now with your friendships because those are going to be such beautiful blessings for you. So wherever you feel like things are just going kind of awry within them, um, whether that's you know, with any three of these charms, this is the time to recognize that um, and to either own up to it or really talk it out. Because the last two charms we have here as well are the the five. Um, so this can, this is kind of giving me the five of wands five, which is where I was getting that com competitive nature to your relationships right now. So there's just like this comparison, this competition, this, I need to get here to get here, to get here, to get here. They have a better job, a better house, a better this, you know? So don't compare yourself to other people. They're doing the best that they can. And, you know, they're probably comparing themselves to someone else and so on and so on and so on. So it's really just important to ground yourself down into what you're doing and just see their side of life, not as a reflection of yours and where you're doing good or bad but rather just you know seeing them as two very separate entities like we were saying with the six and finding that balance there where you both have strengths and weaknesses and that's totally okay um, it's just about being there for each other instead of not listening to their needs or what they need or what you need because uh, we do have the not listening charm or that they just really aren't, com you guys aren't communicating the best. But with all of that said, group one here, I hope you enjoyed this reading here with me today. If you did, please be sure to let me know in the comments down below. I love to hear your guys' feedback, what you guys think, how the, even maybe at the end of the month, let me know how it went for you. Uh, but do let me know also by giving this video a like if you really did like it and you liked this reading. It really does help this channel continue to grow and flourish and I really enjoy um, hearing from you and seeing your guys' feedback through the likes and the comments. So thank you to everyone who's left a comment and liked. And lastly, if you are new to the channel and this is one of your very first readings here with me, welcome. I also do other readings like monthly readings like this one, as well as ones that are timeless readings on your psychic and magical gifts and abilities, which maybe is something you guys would be interested in. And then also I do readings on love and all sorts of other things. Um, so feel free to check them out. Have a little look-see around if you're interested. Um, and subscribe if you'd like to be a part of this community of Bits and Bobs Kindred Spirits. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Hello group two! If you've decided to choose this little cactus rock, then this is the pile for you. I'm going to go ahead and set it down right here so you can see it during your reading here today as we are going to be looking into your blessings for July. Um, so we're going to look into the blessings that are coming in to your life and we're going to be doing that with the charms, the watercolor affirmations. We're also going to be using the spell casting oracle as well as the sea melodies deck and we're also going to be using the tarot deck of choice which is the use tarot and I was telling group one that I just feel like this is the most um, perfect deck for July for whatever reason for me it just totally resonates so I hope it resonates for you too um, so let's go ahead and get started so group two group two what do you have in blessings coming in for the month of July so you have two different cards here we have the page of emotions um, also known as the Page of Cups. But then we also have here next to it the Chariot, which is super exciting to see. Two wonderful cards to get together. It's all about getting your stuff together and moving forward, which is really cool. Um, so let's see what else is coming in here for you. Group two, group two. What do you have coming in for the month of July for the blessings, the energy, the insights, and the guidance? So then your last card here for the tarot cards is the Queen of Pentacles or Queen of Materials. Um, so there we are. We have two people, which is really interesting, two that are kind of looking away from the Queen of Materials. So that is something we could definitely be reading into, depending on which person you resonate with that may... Um, reflect where this reading is going for you so feel free to see which one really resonates for you but let's see what else is coming in here for you group two for the month of july for blessings coming in what beautiful blessings are coming in for you for the month of july group two and feel free to send your energy in through time and space to see what's coming in so group two group two group two Now 
There we are. Ooh, okay, so you have answers. If you guys have been waiting for an answer to come in, waiting for correspondence, waiting for something to, like, a spiritual download or something like that, I definitely see that being answered or some sort of answer being, um, like, a prayer being answered or something like that within the month, which is really cool, or at least that you're going to be getting some sort of little nugget of information within that, especially things having to do with your heart center. But let's see what else is coming in here for you group two group two group two what do you have coming in for the month oh, goodness you just had a lot trying to come out so you had two here so let's go ahead and look into those so you had first off you had strength stay afloat and feel steady and calm so you have this little boat in the side here trying to stay steady even though there is these these like dangers ahead um it's staying strength staying with strength staying afloat um and keeping that mentality to keep you afloat as well so we also have communicate things left unsaid things left unsaid will never reach the shore wow i can't communicate today but anyway that's what you have here is communicate um, which is interesting seeing as you have that with answers and also interesting too because like I said there's a bunch of of the cards looking away from this queen of pentacles which makes me feel like there are things like this rift between these two personalities um, depending on where you are within that but I think that's really interesting let's go ahead and see your final uh, card here which is an affirmation if you guys are interested in how you can make these yourself feel free to check out my other video on how to use a little bit of art magic to create them. Uh, but we're going to be using these today to look into an affirmation for the month, but stay tuned later as well because we will be using the charms to look into the smaller details of blessings and insights. So here we are, group two, group two. What do you have coming in for the month of July? Group two, group two, month of July. All right, so we have... Each petal makes the flower. So this is about steps. This is about seeing something for the whole of it versus looking at it just from one small perspective. But there you are with each petal makes the flower. Very interesting. So let's go ahead and start diving in group two. So like I said, let's start off here. There's this rift between this queen of pentacles and this other side with the chariot and the page of emotions here. So there is like this rift, this miscommunication, this like feel like I almost just feel like there's just like um, so much tension in the room around these people. Um, so we have here the queen of materials. So this may either one resonates um, for each of you. I feel like some of you are going to know which one is you, but we have the queen of materials. They can be a mother in your life. They are very motherly very nurturing they also are very focused on making sure something grows and grows well so definitely if you have like a mother in your life that's feeling like they're just really trying to take over your ideas on what you want to do and your power um, I do see a bit of that where they're just being very nosy and in your face uh, the other thing too though it also just even if this you find that you are more of this person where you're trying to nurture something to grow there may be someone near you that you just met or recently met that could be kind of in your way of that so it depends on the perspective but here with the page of emotions they are usually the young a younger person they are someone who is a young spirit they are very in touch with their emotions they could be a water sign um, they also are very they lead with their heart before their head where the queen of pentacles leads with their head over their heart they think much more practically where they think much more with their heart so i can see where there's this rift right like you each side is trying to think differently or feel differently and there's just all this tension here so if you have tension with someone in your life right now um, even if they don't particularly match these specific cards I do think that there is this like holding you back from your goals holding you back from or you're personally holding someone back from their goals um, because we do have the chariot showing up near this page of emotions and the chariot is about really pushing either your ideas forward or they're ready to just you know be independent really go on their own really step into their power really let it be known what they want in life and you know they just have like all this horsepower they have so much that they want to start growing and start 
you know, feeling independent in. And there's just like this leash almost like this, like, oh, you know, that's what I'm getting with this tension. Uh, so I think you guys know a lot about that, but I do think that communication is going to be the biggest blessing and answers, making sure if there's a bunch of questions with this person, do they feel this way? Do they not? Especially if you feel like a lot of it's been in your head, if you haven't really talked it out, the tension's just in the room growing and you haven't gotten any answers to it, you haven't been able to give answers to another person about what what it is you actually want to pursue. Um, communication is going to be your biggest key, your biggest asset for the month, your biggest blessing. So definitely make sure to communicate what you really want clearly, concisely, um, And with a place of compassion for the other person too, seeing it from their side as well uh, so that you can really communicate without it feeling one-sided because there's definitely pros and cons to each side. Uh, So definitely make sure that you're communicating well with those around you and with those within this situation that you feel like you're being held back by someone where you are currently holding someone back because of your own beliefs um, and fears. And especially if you're like a mother right now and not able to let someone, you know, you know, you're kind of like hovering over the situation. There also is the strength there too of staying afloat. Like they can stay afloat. They got this. Um, they, they've they learned from you. They've learned the best from you. Uh, so it's not matter a matter of whether they can. It's a matter of whether you allow them to. So it definitely resonates which side you're on. But at the very center of everything, we do have answers showing up here. Answers in the form of spirit guide messages. Answers in the form of just finally getting an answer to all of this happening. Or answers to prayers. Answers to, you know, manifestations. Whatever that is for you. Whatever you've been really looking for an answer. I do see that being your blessing coming in which is really exciting and then lastly here we had each petal makes the flower so again that's like seeing from the other side of the view if you're only going to look at part of the flower if you're only going to look at your position within this situation you're not going to be able to communicate very well you're not going to be able to understand the other's um, point of view and perspective and emotions and where that is coming from and so it's really important when you have these communi- these conversations to communicate with compassion for the other side um, understanding for the other side but still put down your boundaries and your thoughts as well so with all of that said group two I'm going to go ahead and move on to your charms where we're going to get some of those smaller details um, more specific details as well and really look into more of the insights versus the blessings that you have coming in for the month. So let's see what you have coming in. Group two. Group two, group two. We're looking for any information, energy, insights, or guidance coming in for group two for the month of July. Group two, group two, group two. I definitely threw out quite a few charms for you here. I'm going to go ahead and zoom you in a bit so you can see them, Uh, but I'm going to pick up first off the ones that fell upside down, and then we can look into each of those, Um, see what there is here. Okay, let's do this. So first off here in your central ring, we have empowerment showing up here with the Mickey charm. This is also imagination, using your imagination, your um, your creative mind. That's what I'm really getting from this for the most part. But this also can talk about your spiritual side, um, especially with those spirit guide answer messages. Uh, so if you guys are looking for more information on that, you can check out my other video, which I'll have somewhere on the screen that is all about spirit guide messages that may be coming in for you, uh, because we do have that showing up here with the Mickey hat, because it does talk about, you know, like using your magic to empower you. The other things we have here is strings attached. This com- this conversation has strings. It has strings attached, things that have happened over 
quite a few times. Like, this isn't the first time you've possibly had this conversation, or this isn't the first time it's crossed either one of your guys' minds, because it's it's definitely already created a structure in your life. Um, and what's interesting, too, is you do have the bee charm, which represents a mother. Um, for me, personally, my mom loves bees, so I always think of her as, like, that queen bee, that mom, um, but sometimes that also can mean that the, the worker bees, you know, they have to do what the queen bee says so especially if that's resonating with you guys um that's coming in here quite a lot and finding balance the other thing that's interesting too is you have the queen charm too of the queen key so this is like almost like they're finally going to offer the key to you know do your own thing um, like they're finally going to offer, not that you have to have their permission, but if you've been looking for that answer, looking for those permissions, looking for that validation in what you're doing from a mother or a parent or a guardian that is a mother figure or something like that within your life, I do see that that's going to balance out with this communication and teamwork possibly too. Some of the other charms that you have at the center of your month is we do have the um, like Cinderella shoe. So this can represent finding that perfect fit as well. So if you, you know, whatever that dream is that you're heading on, those things that you have all that chariot energy for, that horsepower, that like, yes, let's dive into it. Let's go for it. This is also talking about um, that one, fairy tales can come true. That's the first thing I, that I was getting. But then two, also like um, that you have to find the perfect fit for you too. That just because you have all this energy and this drive doesn't mean that every opportunity is going to be the best fit for you. So definitely use your intuition to find that out and use resources around you as well because we do have the wrench here, which one can talk about someone putting a wrench in your ideas, you know, they just like ugh, put a wrench in my plans. But it can also talk about having the tools and resources to head towards those things that you want to, um, those dreams, those desires, those exciting opportunities to look at the resources resources too. That way you can discern which shoe is really fitting properly for you or which opportunity rather is fitting properly for you. The other things that we have coming in here is the letter P. So whoever is involved, this may have to do with the letter P either in their name, in a place, a location, a job. We do have the letter P showing up. Um, it's not around anything else though, but what is interesting is you do have the fall in love charm. Um, it doesn't, you can't read it anymore. It used to say fall in love here, but I know what it is. But basically we have the fall in love chart co coming, um, coinciding with the release moon. So this moon is about releasing. Um, so if you've been in a relationship recently or you've been wanting to fall in love or you've all these big plans and ideas, um, maybe it's needing to release and discern which shoe is going to fit for you um, or that they aren't a good fit for you or something like that about needing to release some of that, um, needing to release something around love, falling in love um, or past relationships. Because we do also have with that page of emotions, they do talk about meeting new people. So this can also be that you're finally meeting new people, but you have to release some of those past ideas, those past um, roadblocks that you had and possi possible old relationships that you had. The other things we have here is we do have the Christmas tree, which just can represent beyond Christmas, just holidays in general, things to be merry about, things to be joyful about, those grateful moments in your life. And you have it next to the charm of like collect, this is like the collection charm, because if you ever use these, it's like a collection of things that you put together um, in one little booklet or one little one little riveted uh, book together. So I really do think that you're going to be collecting um like little joyful moments and I personally have a gratefulness jar which is what I'm thinking about right now so if you guys want to start a gratefulness jar you just find like a little jar or a little box and every day you write on a piece of paper something you were grateful for and then you can roll it up or fold it up and throw it in the jar and then at the end of the month you can go through all of them and it's like this really beautiful joyous experience so I could see that being something you guys might start up or just in general you're going to be seeing more gratitude and um joy in the everyday small moments which is beautiful and the last things that I see here is another key so you have the key to your heart so again 
either you needing to release a bunch for a new relationship to come in. There's old ideas on your past relationships, like things that you're just, they're kind of sticking to you and staying there or locking you up from being able to find not even love just necessarily in a romantic way, but also love within new friendships, um, family members, and other things. I do think it's interesting, though, that it does point towards the uh, paw print charm, which is about pets and um, about animals, which if you guys watched Pile 1, you might resonate with this even further uh, if you watched both of them, because this is, this is talking about possibly unlocking a new friendship with a pet, which definitely came up in Pile number 1, too, possibly something with the letter P. The last charm that I haven't talked about here is the, this is like a piece of an earring, but I also see it as um, seeing all of the facts and then finding one compromise from those facts. Um, or seeing, you know, one path and then it diverging into three. So it's like a fork in the road or finding, you know, that balance. So definitely with that each petal makes the flower, it's making me think that like you have to really look at all those facts. You have to look for more than one perspective to find the direction you're going to head in because um, that's when you're going to be able to have that chariot energy really flourish in a way that is going to be helpful. So I think that's all of them. I'm going to go ahead and close off this reading, but I hope you really did enjoy it, that you found the insights that you seek, um, and that it was helpful for you for the month of July. Let me know in the comments down below how it resonated for you. I'm always interested in like what this P means for you, these answers you've been looking for, um, how you felt about that queen and the page. Um, I'd love to know in the comments down below. Also, please be sure to give this video a like if you really did like it. It really helps this channel continue to grow, and I really do appreciate it. So thank you to everyone who's liked the video and has watched all the way to the end. I really do appreciate it. And lastly, if this is the very first reading here with me and you're interested in the other things that I have, big, huge welcome. Um, I do other monthly readings like this one as well as two-week forecasts. And then I also do other readings that are on like your spiritual and magical gifts and abilities, what makes you most attractive, how to get outside of your box, what makes you proud, all sorts of things. So if you're interested in any or all of those, then feel free to subscribe and join on in on this beautiful community of kindred spirits. Uh, but with all of that said, I hope you guys enjoyed here today and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Hello group three, if you've decided to choose this dotted piece of a cactus, then this is the pile for you. I'm going to go ahead and set it down right here for you so you can see it during your reading as today we are going to be looking into the insights and blessings that are coming in for July. And we're going to be doing that through charms, these watercolor affirmations. We're also going to be using the Sea Melodies Oracle as well as the Spellcasting Oracle. And the deck of choice here today is the Muse Tarot because it just gives me summer vibes so if you guys are from the southern hemisphere and you're missing summer then i hope that this brings you some of those summer vibes uh, but here we are for you pile number three so let's see what's coming in here for july pile number three for blessings what are your july blessings group three so here we are with the seven of materials here at the beginning so the seven of materials waiting for things to grow let's see what other blessings you have coming in here for you group three group three group three feel free to send your energy in through time and space here now so that i can really tap into it for you for group three here group three what do you have coming in for your month of july group three so we also have the six of materials very interesting so we've got seven six Let's see what else you have coming in here. So group three, group three, what do you have coming in for your month of July, for July blessings for group three, group three? <laughs> you also have here the two of materials. So you definitely have something happening within your physical space that's coming in, possibly your physical health, um, or a career or job, but we'll talk further into it because we do have the two, the seven, and the six. 
Um, very interesting. Let's see what else you have coming in here. I'm curious if career will show up here. Um, that would be really funny, very on point for blessings. But let's see what else there is for you for blessings for the month of July. So you have, oh, so okay, you have something else coming in here. So you have healing. So maybe even healing on a physical level. Like I said, it could be your physical health. Um, but also in general, healing your thoughts and ideas within your subconscious on money, um, the power of money, your ideas on money, and how they may be limiting you at this time. So let's see what else there is coming in here for you for the month of July for blessings for group three here. Group three, what is this healing? Where's this healing coming from? For group three. Group three, group three. Okay, so you had another one at the bottom that tried to fall out. So we have here empathy, and it says there is more beneath the surface. So this is about seeing farther beneath the surface, which definitely came up in group one as well. But then we also have travel showing up here. Seeking the surface of the ocean is not the same as diving deep to see the coral. So again, another diving deep. There's more beneath the surface. There's something farther into your subconscious. This definitely has been coming up in almost all of the piles, but here you are also with travel in general, with travel plans on a physical plane level, um, maybe being able to heal enough that you can travel or that you're currently needing to heal right now and being empathetic to yourself instead of traveling or really working, you know, your body to a breaking point. But we'll talk more on that in a moment. Let's go ahead and get your final message here before we head into the charms later on in the reading. So stay tuned for those to see those little small details that are coming in for the month. They're very, very much more the details. But let's see your affirmation. So group, group three. What do we have coming in for group three for blessings for July? An affirmation for them for the month of July. All right. So we have go your own way. And this, all, this also gives me like eight of wands, like very fast movement, fast travel, fast, quick energy is what I'm getting from this. Um, and also just in general to go your own way. You don't have to follow anyone's perfect book or what a perfect body looks like or what perfect healing looks like. Um, and being empathetic and loving of where you're at and who you are, especially within your body and in, in your space on a physical level. So let's go ahead and dive on in. So the first things that I'm seeing here are two different narratives. So this can definitely resonate in both narratives or in two different ways, depending on who you are watching. But we do have, like I said, the healing element of healing from a physical injury, healing um, on a emotional level about your physical body or about that part of your space and self-love and care. And then we also have on the other side, more so healing with your subconscious mind on what money means to you, what those roadblocks are are for you in manifesting money, fa manifesting the job of your dreams, manifesting that perfect career, or manifesting something like happening within your career and job um, space. So I'll talk about both narratives as I talk about each of these. But um, first off with um, with the seven of materials here. The seven of materials talks about really working towards your goals. And like, as you can see, she's watering these plants and she's making sure everything's working really well and growing really well. Um, but the seven of materials also can talk about feeling like things aren't growing fast enough, that you're putting in all this time and effort and you're making sure that you're watering them. You're making sure that they're growing well, that you're making sure they have enough sunlight. They are almost overdoing it like you're just over you're just looking at it too deeply um so if this is with your physical health it's making sure to ease up a little bit not necessarily that you can't keep working on it but like I said you're trying a little too hard to try to um whatever it is for those fitness goals for um your lifestyle choices for just feeling love for yourself and feeling like you're maybe not there yet on a mental level or whatever it is there is sort of this like wanting things to happen faster than they are and if this is for a career this is just also talking about wanting that job wanting that promotion wanting something to come to fruition and it hasn't yet um, so something that could be a blessing for you isn't necessarily that it's going to come to fruition within the month, but that you find ease. Um, not that things are easy, but that you find ease, that you allow a little bit more 
um, love and compassion into your goals because if you keep trying to make them go so fast, those gears are going to like grind and things aren't going to align properly and things are going to maybe spiral. So really make sure to have love and compassion towards your body, towards your career, towards these goals that you have. Um, and finding ways that are going to be actually healthy for you so that you can heal from um, either side of this. You also have the six of materials. So if you're looking for financial help or looking for help in general um, from someone that can help within this, so a maybe a trainer or helping from your boss or colleagues or something like that or even just you know finally getting to go on runs with a family member or a friend or something like that where you get some some true support I do see that being a blessing for you that there you're going to have this support come in that support system being really there for you this month so allow them in allow that advice allow that love to come in and give it back in return as well Um, Because the Six of Materials does talk about a give and take in terms of advice, in terms of help, and in terms of working together as a team. The other thing you have here is the Two of Materials, which talks a bit, again, kind of about a balance, where the Six also talks about a balance, a give, and a take. This is also about having, again, too much focus, because the Two of Materials, usually you have, like, someone about to trip them, but they're trying to juggle and trying to juggle, and so they're putting all of their focus into what they're juggling and not into anything else that could be a roadblock for them. So you're putting all of your focus, all of your eggs into one basket, into one goal into one thing that you're like literally burning yourself thin those cogs are not working as smoothly so definitely be patient be patient with yourself be empathetic with yourself and where you're heading because there's a lot more that is beneath the surface literally below this juggling that you have going on and where I was talking about healing Um, Healing can be also on a subconscious level too because a lot of our thoughts are subconscious thoughts and they really do rule our lives. So ways that you can work towards healing these subconscious thoughts um, that are around money or around um, your self-love and all that kind of stuff is to say powerful affirmations that are true in the mirror even if you don't think that they're true at the time even if you don't necessarily feel them if you're like oh you cringe but over time your subconscious mind is finally going to hear those and it's going to really affect your life your mindset really is key and it really can be like those affirmations can really make a huge difference in your life so allow yourself to have um to be empathetic to yourself and empathetic to your journey but also make small movements not huge ones but small movements towards those goals that are towards self-love towards changing your mindset on money or just healing from this physical ailment and allowing yourself not to travel or push it too hard because we do have travel showing up here so another blessing that may be coming in is that you are traveling that you're heading you're actually going to be traveling which is great just like I said also take it easy everything in this pile is about you're gonna have more blessings coming in if you take it easy if you don't try to pressure or put so much pressure on everything Um, and I think you'll be fine so I don't think that it's not that you can't travel Um, but that there may be roadblocks in your way, but you're being empathetic to the process versus the destination. So with all of that said, let's go ahead and look into the charms for the month. Let's see what healing is to have come in for you guys. And then I also want to just see in general the insights and guidance that you have coming in within like future visions and predictions for the month. So let's see what that's coming in here for you. Group three, group three, we're looking for any information, energy, insights, or guidance coming in for group three for the month of July, as well as any blessings and future visions. So, group three, group three, group three. So you have quite a few charms that have shown up here. I'm going to pick up the ones that don't feel right. I'm going to pick up the ones that just don't make a lot of sense. And then we're going to go ahead and start looking in. So here we are. I'm going to actually zoom in just a smidge more. 
Okay, so right off the bat, what I think is interesting is you have these two charms coming together. So you have the um, the magician charm. <laughs> it's funny that I can like hold it up this way, but we have the magician charm. It's getting a little muggy, um, but we have the magician. So this is about empowering yourself, having visions, having goals. But sometimes with the magician, just because you have everything at your disposal, you know, you have the cups, you have the wands, you have, you know, all the tools at your disposal to head towards these goals doesn't mean you have to do it all at once. You can take just one thing, take just one tool and start heading towards that instead of trying to complicate it too much. Um, the other thing too is that you have it stuck on this charm here of the culture charm because it always just makes me think of culture, makes me think of your own personal culture. Um, I don't know why but Anyway, it's what I've always kind of assigned this charm to. So there may be certain things that are happening within your culture that are very fun to celebrate, to find power and empower yourself within. Maybe that's going to be helping you to figure out what path you should start heading on so it doesn't complicate it so much. Like I said, you may have family members or friends coming in that can help you on these paths and visions that you have um, within your goals for career and health because you do have their culture showing up here too that they may be able to help you with the key that has something to do with your culture um you do have the bossy charms so this is like a bee but it is um I always just feel like they look a little a little like cross a little bossy like they're just like kind of gossiping so make sure that there isn't people in your circle right now that are gossiping or talking you know lies to you or even if it's not like friends or family members making sure that your social media isn't full of a bunch of lies of you know photo editing and all sorts of things that could just you know on a subconscious level even though you consciously know these are photoshopped even though you constantly know that these are not things to compare yourself to your subconscious is still taking that in regardless of how you feel about it. So making sure that those affirmations come in and maybe following accounts that don't make you feel that way um, and really purging those out could be really a blessing for you because we do also have the silver linings charm, which talks about, you know, things that are silver linings and they come in the form of hacking the hacksaw. So this is the hacksaw. It's time to saw things out, hack it away. So if you have people in your life or things that they're just throwing out trash, throwing out gossip, tr trying to, you know, mess with your mind, especially within social media, unfollow those people, unfollow those accounts, don't give them your support, don't give them your subconscious thoughts um, to play around with, because this is not the time for that, you know, erase them away, put action to erasing that out. A uh, thing that you do have here, though, which is really cool, is you do have the best friend charm coming in. So like I said, reconnecting with best friends, um, reconnecting with different kindred spirits in your life. So that's a beautiful blessing coming in. We do have the bottled up charm. So again, this is making me think of those subconscious thoughts, things that are much more below the surface that are rising up and, and ready to kind of like spill out or spew out. So definitely making sure to check in on those things that are just getting kind of lost under under the rug and then lastly here we have the reindeer charms so this is about believing in yourself right because we don't know you know reindeers can fly um with like santa claus and everything even if that doesn't necessarily resonate with you it's about believing in yourself that you can fly that you can head towards your goals and do your things um and that they're not unreachable you know it's just making sure that you're also taking your time. You know, you don't have to do it in one night. Um, you know, capture those memories, do it in between. The last charm that you have here is the memories charm. This is about capturing memories, small moments, the smaller joys in life. Uh, and then also it does talk about in general photography. So the things that you may need to or you, that you want to head towards ha may have to do with photography but like I said I was feeling that like that like don't believe everything you see on social media or in all of the pictures that you're looking at and I think that that's just such an important message for some of you right now that I just really think you need to hear that that not everything on social media is real and that we all have our own bodies we have our own body shapes we all come in so many different sizes and shapes and ideas and all sorts of things so just believe in yourself and who you are um versus who you feel like you should be or 
or I will only be happy if I look like X, Y, or Z because those can be so limiting for you to grow into who you want to be. So I do believe that is all. So I'm going to go ahead and close off this reading, but I truly do hope you enjoyed this. Thank you to watch those two, those of you words. I thank you to those of you who have watched all the way to the end. I always do truly appreciate that. And lastly, um, feel free to subscribe if you're new, give this video a like if you really did like it, and comment down below what this reading really meant to you, how it maybe impacted you, if there were small little nuggets of wisdom you want to share yourself. I'm always curious, so let me know in the comments down below. Like the video, and if you're new, huge welcome. Feel free to subscribe to see more of my timeless videos on your psychic and magical gifts and abilities, what makes you most proud, um, romantic messages, all sorts of things, and then also two-week readings as well. So if you're interested in any or all of that, feel free to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Such beautiful blessings for July, and I wish you the best for the month. Thank you, everyone, and bye!